you begin with an opening statement about the match itself? Yeah, no, obviously it's uh, it's exciting to be able to get these matches in. Uh, I think it's great for the community. I think it's great for our universities and uh, great for our players. So to be able to get a, a rivalry going with UNO is, it has always been a, a fun thing for the community. So all in all, um, obviously we'd have enjoyed to have the three points, but um, I think it's a good result. I think it was an exciting game. There were some fireworks that went on. I don't know if it was uh, – I don't know if it, the two red cards were warranted or not, but um, um, no, it was uh, it was good to see the people come out even even in the bad weather. Yes. You mentioned fireworks. I mean, going zero zero at halftime. I mean, what did how did that kind of change once it, it got to 10, 10 on ten? Well, you know, you, when you're two less players on the field, you know, there's going to be a lot of a lot of space, and we knew it was going to be a track meet after that, so. It was just about uh, being willing to, to to run forward and be able to defend at the same time. So, um, and I think there was uh, quality opportunities on both ends. Um, and um, unfortunately, uh, we weren't able to put one of those away late in the game uh, with Demo on the right and Alfie on the right side. Uh, but, you know, they also had some chances where we had to clear a couple of chances off the line. So in the end, I think it was an exciting match. Agos inside. Yeah. Palga to the middle, oh. right off the goalkeeper, and I don't Blake the, Gillingham. I don't think the goal fit. Looking for the oh. run, defender slips down, Palga. One on one with Perron, goes past him. Wow, Palga taken down in the area, it's a penalty. Oh my goodness, you could see that coming. You could see that coming. Lucio Perron takes down Palga in the area. And Omaha, which nearly scored just seconds into the match, will have a kick from 12 yards away to take the lead. John, another referee could have given a red card on that. He was the last player. As he went to ground himself, he tripped Palga. Yeah. And now... The man with the golden boot so far. Three for three on penalty kicks on the season. Theo Klein. Junior from Strasbourg, France. And he's the one we were talking about earlier. The referee just organizing everybody. First penalty kick conceded on the year for Creighton. Oh, what a great save. Louis. Sent towards goal. Oh, he almost caught killing him napping. Do you know what? I don't know if that was a great playing with a high, high line. And they want to put the, the ball across. Shot saved again by Gillingham. Having a good game. Killian Haney was in some space. Freshman from West Port Ireland. But Omaha has have some speed on their forward line. And they're trying to play to that. That was a nice save. From just outside the area. Long throw. Into the area. Yeah! Salah was frozen to the spot. And Sean Green. I was just saying, like, their throws are as good as a corner. And that's what happened. The sophomore from St. Louis ties it up immediately. And as a coach, that's the response you want. Game on. The looping header finds the side net. The first conceded by Nathaniel Sala on the year. And we're deadlocked at one. 39 minutes to go. Should be interesting. Kobo to deliver again. Driven into the center of the box. Oh, that and was. scored. That was a classic header, John. Miguel Ventura puts the Blue Jays on top.
And that was a nice hard cross. That was met well. Beautifully taken header by Ventura. That was very well taken. Just outside the six yard box. The goalkeeper didn't have a chance with that one. And now he's let two in. Actually, John, this season, when the Jays have scored two, never been beat. Hi. To the end line. Shot. Save. Headed down. It's on the line. Saved again by Gillingham. Oh, my goodness. Goodness me. Good. Uh, Bramber with the right foot. Another save for Blake Gillingham. Well, how important was it? that the match was still scoreless going into halftime, considering you had to make a couple of big saves probably in the first 20 minutes there. Yeah, it's it's important going in 0-0 so we can reassess and re-up uh, re and just uh, settle down a little bit too and uh, get after them. But uh, no, going in 0-0, especially after a penalty save too, is huge. So we had confidence going in. We knew that we were going to score goals and we just had to be solid on our end. Marissa Voss here with Creighton's goaltender, Blake Gillingham. So obviously it ended in a draw, 2-2, but first half, Creighton, you defended the goal well and you did an absolutely great job. What can you say about the defense in the first half of play? Well, we were working really, really hard. They had a lot of good chances on us and we came back and had a lot of good chances on them, but credit to the guys, they were working really, really hard today and everybody put in a shift. You knew it was going to be a track meet going into the second half. You know it was going to bounce back. Um, what was that play like out there in your mind? What, how did was that point of view of being a goalie? Um, it's tough because it's a lot of transitions and a lot of counters. I just got to make sure I'm in the right spot to cut up crosses and shots. But I knew that we just had to stick in with our guys and just keep working and not give up. 